Sporting federations and associations attended a workshop on Thursday to formulate a national sports and physical activity calendar. The first workshop was held in 2023. The National Sports Council Act mandates a national sports and physical activity calendar to guide activities throughout the year. Public Relations Officer Karine Maureen Alexander has more in this report. It is required according to the National Sports Council Act that a national sports and physical activity calendar must be published no later than one month prior to the start of each calendar year. In this regard, sporting federations and associations are required to submit their event schedule with budgets and the various costs associated with the operations to the Ministry of Sports ahead of its budget planning for the upcoming year. The National Sports Council Secretariat on Thursday hosted its second workshop to develop the calendar. The first was held last year. Sporting federations and associations in attendance at the workshop were reminded of the requirements and how important it is to submit their plans ahead of time. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Senator the Honorable Civil Francis, expressed her excitement in being part of the process in her new role at the Ministry of Youth and Sports, emphasizing the need for the federations and associations to work closely with the Ministry for the improvement and promotion of sports on all levels. She also stressed that their timely contributions to the publishing of the National Sports Calendar builds their credibility. In terms of resource allocation, again, we are only able to allocate those resources if we know. And if we don't know, then we can help. It also helps us as a government to achieve some of the target goals that we set for every ministry. So that is also imperative. But most importantly, Seeing a federation, an organization, a committee submit a calendar of events shows that you, one, take your organization seriously. It shows that you're disciplined. It shows that you have your organization or your federation interest at heart and you want to see it succeed. To me, seeing a calendar of events from any one of you, that is what it shows me. Right? It means that you have vision. It means that you know what you're about and where you want your organization or your federation to be. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sports, Kim Frederick, says adhering to the early submission would serve for better coordination of sporting events and more support from the Ministry of Sports. The sporting calendar must reflect the events and activities of the federations, associations and other relevant bodies. As a consequence, it must be prepared with the input of the organizations. I am very pleased, therefore, that you are here today. This shows that you understand the importance of your role in the process of developing the sports calendar. Having the various organizations involved in the process will ensure that sporting events are coordinated. It will also aid in the planning process of the Ministry of Youth and Sports regarding the use of its limited human resources and for financial and other support when required. There have been instances where more than one organization would make requests for the use of assets at the same time, and given the limited resources of the ministry, it is always a challenge to satisfy all the needs. As a ministry, we are committed to providing the support to you. However, you have to help us so that we can serve you better. General Secretary of the Olympics Committee and former Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Sports, Vida Bruno Victor, challenged those in attendance to be abreast with what is happening with their international counterparts to improve their planning to get the support that is needed and to be responsible. So the role of the ministry is an important one. And as I said before, the facilities, the equipment, and all of that. We have as many, we, we still need to look around for some more facilities and to help the developers. What's about the association? What is your role? What is your role? Half the times you don't coordinate with your international body, and that is not a good thing. So... 
You need to coordinate with them. You need to know what's happening and you need to know on time. And I'm annoyed when you come and tell me I just get a letter. You don't just get no letter. You need to know. So you write and you find out what is happening. Here we are one month before the start of the calendar year. We must provide a calendar of events that must show that we have to showcase so everybody could know what's happening. How would you do that if you don't know what's happening? If you don't know what's happening with the international body and the association must be responsible for the development of the sport under the charge. The ministry do help you in some of the areas that you have those in, that they have the sport in. They help you there also. But you need to do that. You need to find out, you need to support, and you need to love the athletes under your care. You need to give them some strict love. You must be strict with them, but you must care for them. You must make them know that you care, but you must also be very strict with them because you must not allow them not to come to things on time. You, it's not good. You must not allow those things, but you must care for them. The attendees reported on their achievements and gave recommendations on moving forward with their individual sporting disciplines. They also took the opportunity to network among the respective organizations for added support. I am Karen Marine Alexander reporting.